Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Kelsey Derringer, and I am the Professional Development Coordinator for BirdBrain Technologies. So normally, I work with teachers, and I teach them coding and robotics, but today, I also get to work with some students while we do robot Shakespeare projects. You guys are gonna have the opportunity to code and interact with two different robot Shakespeare projects, and I'm really excited for you, but I'm not the only one here. We've also got our director and producer, Matt. Hi, Matt. Hey, Kelsey, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you doing? I'm doing excellent. I'm really excited to answer some of the questions that will be coming in from Facebook. That's right, if you guys are watching us live from Facebook, you can leave a comment on that video live and participate in the class, because Matt is watching those screens, and he'll let us know what you have to say, right, Matt? That's yeah. right. <laughs> okay, so it's not just me and it's not just Matt though. If we go to gallery view, we can see all of the people who are here. You, you guys all wanna wave hello? Hello, great. I wanna get to know just a couple people who are here since we will be interacting with Shakespeare plays today. Raise your hand and do like this. This is how we raise our hand here. So stick your hand right in front of your camera. If you've ever seen a play before, who here has seen a play before, have you? That's great. Constance, do you want to unmute yourself? What kinds of, what is a play that you have seen? I saw, um, I saw a play called Lion King. It was, um, it was just a play that I saw for my birthday a couple years ago. That is really cool. Did you like seeing it? Yeah, it was, it was cool. That's awesome. Um, who else has seen a play? If we go back to gallery view, anybody else seen a play? Looks like Melissa has. Melissa, what play have you seen? Um, I've seen Hamilton. I've seen um, Still Magnolias. Oh, cool. I've seen a couple different plays. That's great. I saw Hamilton in Chicago a couple years ago as a as their, like anniversary gift. So that's really cool, too. So who here, go back to gallery view, who here has never seen a play before? Has anybody never, never seen a play on the stage? That is cool. You guys have seen movies, though, right? Yeah. Great. And um, Nihal, I know that you were saying that you couldn't see us before. Can you see me now okay, Nihal? Okay, great. Um, so uh, keep those things in mind. Think about how movies look, how plays look, the sort of like heightened drama of a play. People aren't just like, hey man, I'm a little bit mad at you. They're like, I'm so angry at you, I'm gonna stab you with a sword, right? Like it's not, things aren't chill in plays, things are big. So keep that in mind as we do our learning today. So we'll put our spotlight back on me and we are gonna be taking a look at a particular scene in the Shakespeare play Romeo and Juliet today. And to do that, I'll want you guys to join the microbit classroom that we have set up. So here's our microbit classroom information for today. I'll make it a little bit bigger so y'all can see it. We also put it in the chat window in our Zoom chat we're gonna ask that only the folks here on Zoom join our microbit classroom today, just to kind of keep it a little bit smaller. If we let everybody in from Facebook, it'll be a little crazy. Um, but um, we can also, we will, uh, uh, we can maybe send the, the links to the projects that we're doing out on Facebook after the broadcast is done today so that you can look inside our projects too. But if you're joining us here on Zoom to participate fully, you'll want to go to that microbit.org slash join website and then enter in this information. And again, we'll put that in the Zoom chat again one more time for you guys so you guys can join. But you can see here, these are all the folks who have joined so far. I've got Aisha, EJ, Madhav, Sweta, Miss L, and Melissa. Um, those folks have all joined the microbit classroom and I wanna see if we can get a couple more people to join as well. And this works if you've got um, a Chromebook, if you've got a laptop, a Mac or a Windows machine. This even works if you're on an iPad or a smartphone. Generally, we've had a couple of hiccups with that, but we have gotten it to work with those in the past. The setup of it is a little bit confusing to look at, um, but even if you're on an iPad, you can still join us on Microbit Classroom. And we are gonna be programming a scene from Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. So if we can, let me go back to gallery view. Okay, this is kind of an obvious question, but who has heard of Romeo and Juliet? Raise your hand if you've like heard of it. Okay, anybody wanna tell me one thing that they know about Romeo and Juliet? You can raise your hand and I'll call on you. What's one thing you know about Romeo and Juliet? How about you, EJ? I'm gonna call on you. What's one thing you know about R&J? 
Um, basically, um, Romeo came from like one faction and Juliet came from another faction, and they're kind of like they loved each other, but it was like kind of forbidden because they're like rivals. Totally. Yep. Romeo's from one family, Juliet's from another. Their families don't like each other, but they are in love, which is kind of a big thing to say because they're like 14 years old. But I don't want to discount anyone's feelings. They're in love. Yes, totally. And their families aren't for it. Uh, does anybody else know anything else about Romeo and Juliet? Does anybody know what happens at the end? Do they like ride off in the sunset? Do they like, does anybody know how it turns out? <laughs> um, Anvi, it looks like you might know how it turns out. You want to unmute and tell us what, what happens at the end of Romeo and Juliet? I don't know. Oh, do you have a guess? No. Think, nope, no guesses. Does anybody else know how it turns out? Adi, do you know how Romeo and Juliet turns out at the end? Do they, do they make it? Don't know how it turns out. I think EJ does though. Can I go? Oh, or do you know Constance? How does yeah, it turn out? Doesn't Juliet die? Oh yeah. She dies. Some other people die. Romeo dies. Tybalt dies. Mercutio dies. Bunch of people die. Not a happy ending on this one. They do not ride off into the sunset. They end up not alive anymore. <laughs> so it's a, uh, I know I'm giggling, but it's a very serious tragedy. Um, a tragedy that came out of two families just being really angry at each other for like no reason. Um, so it uh, looks like we have a couple more people that have joined our microbit classroom, which is great. Um, so there is a particular scene that we are going to take a look at from Romeo and Juliet. So I'm going to grab that right now. Here we go. So this scene in Romeo and Juliet, I'm going to go to this camera for now. There we go. What's in the way? Oh, this thing's in the way. That's all right. We'll leave that there. You guys get a little behind the scenes look at how we do things here. So this is a scene from Romeo and Juliet. It's from act three, scene one. And there are a few characters in here. Uh, can anybody, does anybody have a guess who any of these are? I put some letters on their shirts. Kind of makes them look like Star Trek characters, but I think that's okay. Anybody want to unmute and tell us who do you think any of these characters are? You have a guess? Uh, yeah, um, Anvi. The one in the back is, I think, Romeo. You're right. Yes, he's got a little blue R on his, on his jacket for Romeo. Do you guys know who these two dudes are that are clearly upset with one another? Um, so I'll let you know. These two, I, I made them both have blue. Their letters are blue. This guy's name is Mercutio. So just at home right now, out loud, everybody say Mercutio. Three, two, one. Mercutio. Great. Okay, so this guy's name is Mercutio, and he and Romeo are to they're best friends. They do everything together. They love each other so much. They've grown up together. They're part of the same house. I think they're like cousins or distantly related, possibly. Mercutio may just be a family friend, but he's part of the, he's part of like Romeo's team, right? So they're both wearing blue. And the other thing you should know about Mercutio is he is a jokester. He loves to tell jokes. He is always making fun of everybody. He's super witty. He's always getting on everybody's nerves because he likes to tell jokes. Uh, if we go to gallery view, does anybody have a friend who's like a total jokester or are you a total jokester? Yeah. Um, Aisha, do you want to tell us about your friend or are you the total jokester? We'll get to this point. So my friend, he always would like make fun of everything and like always try to have fun during classes. Yeah. Uh, but, but he was your friend. Did you like that about him or about him or did that kind of get on your nerves sometimes or both? He was actually fun to be around. That's great. Your friend sounds like a total Mercutio. What's your friend's name, Aisha? Rayon. Rayon. That sounds great. Uh, well, Rayon is a total Mercutio, or Mercutio is a total Rayon. Totally. So Mercutio is a total jokester. But here's the thing. Did Rayon ever get in trouble in class for, like, telling too many jokes? Yes. Yes. Mercutio does, too. He is such a jokester. He is always getting himself in trouble and getting his friends in trouble especially with this dude with the T on his shirt. We could call him Mr. T, but that's actually a different guy. <laughs> Does anybody know who this guy with the red T on his shirt might be? Any guesses? His name is Tybalt. Everybody out loud say Tybalt. Three, two, one, Tybalt. Tybalt. Got it. 
You got it. So this is Tybalt, and Tybalt is from the other house. He's at the house that's at war with Mercutio and Romeo's house. His house does not like these guys' house. And Tybalt has no sense of humor. <laughs> he does not think anything is funny ever. Tybalt is, uh, has a really like hot temper. He's really easy to make mad. If we go to gallery view, uh, you don't have to say names, but do any of you guys know somebody who gets mad really easily? Raise your hand if you do. Does anybody know somebody like that? Yeah, does anybody wanna share? You don't have to say names, but wanna share like something uh, that you know about this person who, who gets mad really easy? Madhav, do you wanna, who, who in your life gets mad real easy? Are you like, no, I don't wanna touch that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> I don't want to make him mad. <laughs> um, how about you, Anvi? Do you have somebody in your life who gets mad real easy? Somebody you know at school or something? My brother. Your brother gets mad really easy. Do you, do you ever like kind of poke him sometimes to to get him to to get mad? <laughs> no. No, of course well, not. Sometimes you are I do. <laughs> sometimes, okay. You're, you're a good kid, but you're an honest kid. That's great. <laughs> so Tybalt is, and what's your brother's name, Andy? Anay. Say it one more time. Anay. Anay. Is that him right there? Hey, you. You're such a Tybalt, I can tell. <laughs> so Tybalt is a guy who gets mad real, real easily, and he can't take a joke. Like you, you try to like joke around with him and Josh around and Tybalt's like, nah, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> he can't take a joke. So in this scene, what, what um, me and Matt the robot are gonna do is there's a scene where Mercutio is trying to joke with Tybalt and Tybalt's not into it because Tybalt actually just came to fight. He came out in the town square, which is where we are, we're in the town square. He came to the town square looking for Romeo because he wants to fight Romeo. Um, Romeo did something to tick him off and Romeo's not into it, man. He doesn't want to fight. He just wants to chill out. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to um, first share the code that we have for this scene. We're going to share it with you on Microbit Classroom. So, and then we're going to show you this scene here, okay? So if I go um, here, uh, this is the code that we've created. And I'm going to, uh, as your teacher, I'm gonna go up here and share Kelsey's code, this one right here. Oh, look at all these people who have joined now. Very nice, everybody, great stuff. So here's my code that I created as Kelsey the student, and I'm going to share it with everybody. So I'm gonna send this code to you. So now, on your screen, it should pop up with something that says, your teacher has shared some code with you. Give me a thumbs up if you saw that on Microbit Classroom. Thumbs up if you, great, 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 okay. So, um, on micro, so now you guys have my code. Let me tell you what that code is doing. Let me talk it through with you. And I'm gonna go kind of like side by side um, and show you, I'm gonna show it to you from the front here so that you can see what that code is doing. So um, it's using the A and the B buttons that are actually on the micro bit. So on the micro bit, can you guys see, uh, it's kind of behind some wires, but this says A and that says B, and I can press these buttons and it'll do things. Can you see that? I'll scooch it back over this way. Rearrange my wires here. Okay, so there's my micro bit and I'll make it so we can see. There's one way to do it. Okay, so there's A is gonna wiggle Tybalt a couple times. B is gonna wiggle Mercutio a couple times. And when I press A and B at the same time, that wiggles Romeo a couple times. So I figure when each of them are talking in this scene, we're gonna make them wiggle to show who's talking. And then the other thing is when I shake it, then down here, that part of the project starts to spin in some different ways so that, um, uh, it's alt eight, there we go. Um, that part of the project starts to spin so that you can see that they're like actually fighting, all right? And so when we look at the code, We've kind of seen what, what the different parts of this do. So there's pressing A, wiggles Tybalt, pressing B, wiggles Mercutio, A and B do Romeo, and shaking it makes this bottom motor down here start to spin so that they can fight, all right? So um, looking at the code, if we go over here, whoops. Um, so this is the code that I built. The, on the button A press, 
that moves position servo two, which is Tybalt. Button B press moves position servo one, which is Mercutio. A and B do position servo three, which is Romeo. And then on shake, if I go over here, when it shakes, that's when this uh, servo underneath here, this position servo at the bottom, if I go here, that's, that's what's actually shaking right now. There's a servo hidden in the bottom of this cup right here, all right? Um, so there's that there. Um, but so what Matt and I are gonna do is we're going to, by pressing these buttons, we're gonna act out this scene where Mercutio and Tybalt and Romeo have a sword fight, okay? And what I want you guys to work on in the background is you guys can change this code up. Um, some things that you might consider changing about this code that might be fun to change, you might change how these characters, you can kind of animate them. Right now, when I, press the, when I press a button, this is what this looks like. Tybalt goes back and forth from 90 degrees to 100 degrees with a very short 100 millisecond pause in between, and it only does that four times. So you could change the angles here, you can go all the way up to 180 or all the way down to zero um, and change the angle that this goes to. You could change the pause in here and make it wait for longer or shorter. You could even change the repeat. I want it to do this five times or 10 times or whatever. Those might be some fun things to change in this code while we act this out, all right? So we are going to head to our scene here in the town of Verona in Italy and Matt, who are you going to be, Matt? I forget. Uh, I'm going to be Romeo and Mercutio. Okay, so Matt is going to be both of the Montagues, the blue guys here. So he's going to be Romeo, our, our star-crossed lover, and Mercutio, our jokester. And I'm going to be Tybalt, who can't take a joke, okay? So here we go. Let me make sure I know what my buttons do. Tybalt, Mercutio, Romeo. Got it. All right, let's do it. So Tybalt starts out. And Tybalt says to Romeo, Romeo just walked on the scene, Tybalt says, Romeo, the love I bear thee can afford no better term than this. Thou art a villain. And Romeo says, I do protest. Oops. I've never injured thee, but I love thee better than thou canst devise. Till thou, till thou shalt note thy reason of my love, and so, good Capulet, which name I tender as dearly as my own, be satisfied. And then Mercutio says, Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission. Alla staccato, carry it away. Tybalt, you rat catcher, walk, will you? Tybalt says, What wouldst thou have of me? Good king of cats, nothing but one of your nine lives. That I mean to make bold withal. As you shall use me hereafter, dry beat the rest of the eight. Will you pluck your sword from thy pilcher by the ears? Make haste, lest mine be about your ears, ear be it out. I am for you. Romeo G says, Gentle Marcuccio, put thy rapier up. And they don't put their, <laughs> rapier is another word for a sword. They don't put their swords up, so they start to fight. And Mercutio fights Tybalt, fights Mercutio, fights Tybalt. Ah, and it's all very tense. Can't you feel the tension happening in this very dramatic fight scene? <laughs> no. So, uh, if, if neither, neither Matt nor I are Shakespearean actors. That takes a whole lifetime of, of practice. But we did make this dope robot, and we read those <laughs> words out, which was pretty good. But I bet you guys could actually do better. <laughs> um, but what we want to see you guys do is program these little robot characters to move a little bit differently or better. So I want to check in and see what kind of code you guys have built so far. So I'm going to go take a look at AK. What's AK doing? All right. Oops. So if I, can I move this around a little bit? Yes, I can. So on the shake, um, Ah, okay, so it looks like AK hasn't messed it with anything there yet. Actually, AK, if, if that is your name on Microbit Classroom, do you want to unmute yourself and tell us what you're working on in your code right now? Are you changing anything? Yeah, I just started to change something. Okay, what are you changing? What are you working on? Uh, just uh, trying to check out the angles on, uh, on the first one, which is uh, mm -hmm. B. The yeah. 
this. Yes, start to change easy. those angles. And, and when you have, when you want to try something out, um, let us know and we'll download your code. Um, okay. I'm going to take a look at Audi's. What's Audi working on? Audi, are you changing some angles or some wait times or some repeat loops? I'm just starting to change. Just starting to, okay. I'm going to click through and see if anybody else has changed anything. Looks like it's all pretty much the same so far. How about you, Madhav? What are you working on? Ooh, Madhav is changing some angles over here, I see. Change this to 131 over here. Could be weird. We go down here. Here we go. What's Nihal changing, I wonder? <clears throat> ah, Nahal has changed some angles up here. Ah, and changed how many times it's repeating. Nahal's changing some pause blocks there. Very cool. Hey, Nihal, actually, I thought I had this up so you guys could see what I was looking at. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nihal, can we download your program onto this project just to see how it looks? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to share Nihal's code um, with Kelsey, the student, not with anybody else. Um, uh, and we're going to download it onto this here robot just to see what Nihal is changing and how that's changing how the robot works, because that could help some of you folks who are also just starting to change your program here. Okay, so I'm gonna plug that in, and then we're gonna go up to Kelsey the student. Uh-huh, I'm gonna use the code that my teacher sent me, and then we're gonna download it. We're gonna put it on the micro bit. There we go. And when I go to here, you can see that it is blinking rapidly for about five seconds to download. And then once we get a smiley face, which will be upside down, there we go. Now we can check it out and see what's going to happen with our project here. So I'm going to press A and see what that does. All right. A looks like it's the same. So Tybalt's still doing his regular wiggle. B, there's something that Nihal changed. Nihal changed how Mercutio is moving. So see how that's a way bigger movement? Let's look at and see why that's a way bigger movement. So, oops, I want this one. Uh, if we look at this code here, ah, in B, this is repeating six times now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's repeating six times. And instead of going from 100 to, I think it was uh, 100 to 80, I think, it's going from the angle 147 to 100. So it's moving 47 degrees, that's the difference between those two angle movements, which is pretty cool. And let's see, Romeo's moving the same as it was before and Tybalt is moving the same as it was before. But that's a way more dramatic motion. So now Mercutio, instead of being like, hey, Tybalt, stop, he's like, hey, you, cut that out, right? He's moving, it's very dramatic, it's very dramatic. Let's go check in with a couple other students' code. Um, and actually, I'll, uh, if we go to gallery view, um, uh, does anybody have code that they want us to try out and put on our robot? Who is that? Adi? Let's go, Adi. We'll check you out. Okay. So if we look at Adi's code, ooh, Adi changed some things, I can tell. Yep, yep, yep. Let's do it, Adi. We're going to put your code. We're going to share this with, um, oops, not that. We're going to share this code with not anybody else, just Kelsey the student, because I don't want to replace anybody else's code. There we go. Great, and I'm gonna send it, and then I'm gonna use the code that we sent, download it, and here we go. So I've got this micro bit, it's blinking, blinks for about five seconds to download, and then we'll check it out and see what you did, Audi. Okay, so if I press A, that's gonna control Tybalt. Oh, interesting, what did you do? What did you do to Tybalt's code? Because it's making it so Tybalt doesn't really, doesn't move as much anymore. I wonder if we look at that code. Oops, this one. Look at that one. Tybalt is B, I think. Is that true? Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, I think I know what it is. See how when you... Um, 
Ah, this is interesting. So uh, you changed it so that like position servo two and one are in there. So like, yeah. So when I press A and B, the characters are moving like, when I press A, both characters are moving. And when I press B, both characters are moving over here, the Mercutio and Tybalt, because A and B, uh, they're both controlling motors one and two. So two is going from 80 to 90, and one, oh no, let's see, two is going from 80 to 100, and one is going from 100 to 90 when I press A and B. So as I'm in the background here, I pressed, what was that, A, and now I'm pressing B. A, B. So it's controlling both motor one and two when we press A and B. And let's see what A and what A, B together does. That one still moves Romeo the same way. So that was really interesting, Audie, that you're controlling two motors with the same buttons. You're controlling motor one with button A and motor two with button A and motors one and two with button B as well. That was an interesting thing to change. All right, let's put one more person's on this, uh, one more person's code on here for now. Uh, shout out, unmute yourselves, friends. Who else wants, has a code that they want to try to put on here? Uh, Madhav, do you have one you want to put on there? Yeah. All right. Uh, can you talk us through, what, do you, what did you change, Madhav, while we put it on here? Um, Romeo, I made it go like 45 from zero and back to zero. Okay. Um, and then... The, the guy with the M, I think, mm -hmm. goes, goes uh, like 100 degrees and then goes back. Okay. Goes back to what? Uh, goes back to 30, from 30 to 130. Okay, cool. And then um, the one with the T goes from 90 to 120 and then back to 90. So Tybalt, yeah. All right, so I, I like that you messed with Romeo too. He, he kind of deserves to be messed with, <laughs> just in general, <laughs> as a character. <laughs> okay, so uh, we downloaded it here, and now I'm gonna go to this camera, and we're gonna go big so you can see. Okay, here's A, which should control Tybalt. Ah, so he's moving way bigger now. See that, Madhav? Mm-hmm. And then here's Mercutio, here's B. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Nice. And then here's Romeo. <laughs> he's very distressed. <laughs> no, but he's like, he's like, he's like doing, he's like a b-boy. He's like doing parkour. He's so upset. <laughs> I love that. Sybil and Mercutio and Romeo. That's awesome, Madhav. <laughs> I changed the shake too. Did you? Okay, I'm going to shake it. Whoa. <laughs> this is quite the fight. It's quite the fight. Yeah, they're just really duking it out. Get it, Tybalt. Get it, Mercutio. All right. So for those of you, this is great, Mata. <laughs> so everybody can continue to change things in their program for this scene. And what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to transition to play a different robot game right now. Um, but at any time, you guys can, uh, if you guys have some code that you want me to put on here, let us know. So like in between the, the rounds of the robot game that we're about to play, um, we'll come back here and you can download your code onto this scene, okay? Um, so continue to work on that if you'd like. But check out this other game that we're gonna play. Um, so let me ask for you guys' predictions really quick. Knowing that uh, Romeo is a lover, Tybalt is a jokester, I'm sorry, Romeo is a lover, Mercutio is a jokester, and uh, Tybalt is a, a hothead. He gets angry really easily. Um, Mercutio and Tybalt are about to have a fight. They're gonna try, they're gonna fight each other. Um, Tybalt insults Romeo, and uh, uh, Mercutio's like, bro, you can't take that. You can't, you can't take somebody insulting you like that. And Romeo's like, dude, it's fine, I'm good. Mercutio's like, no, nope, we're gonna fight. So he hops in and Mercutio and Tybalt start fighting. What am I pointing at? Mercutio and Tybalt start fighting, all right? Um, what are you guys' predictions? Hold up a number one if you think Tybalt is gonna win. Tybalt the, hot, the hothead. Hold up a number two if you think Mercutio the jokester is gonna win. Who do you think's gonna win? Tybalt or Mercutio? 
Who do you think? You guys all think Mercutio the jokester is gonna win. All right, these are, these are great predictions. So what happens in this scene is uh, Mercutio and Tybalt start to fight and Romeo keeps trying to get in between them, okay? He's like, no, no, guys, don't fight, don't fight. So in this game we're about to play, you are going to be Mercutio, okay? And you're gonna be fighting Tybalt with a sword, all right? And um, you have got to hit Tybalt and not hit Romeo, okay? So, da, 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 da. Here's our game. Uh, oh, do I do alt, alt four? There we go, got it, okay. So here's our game. You are going to be controlling this sword. So you're a Mercutio, okay? The guy in front of you there, that's Tybalt. He's the prince of cats. He's a very good swordsman. Yes, he hops around, he leaps, he jumps. He's very good. And then there's gonna be Romeo, dumb little Romeo, who's gonna try and get in between you and be like, guys, no, don't, don't fight, don't fight. And you have to use your sword, go back and forth with your sword and try to hit Tybalt and you can't hit Romeo, okay? If you hit Romeo, you get an X over dumb little Romeo's face, okay? <laughs> and you can only hit him if you hit him once, oh no. If you hit him twice, oh no. If you hit him three times, oh no. You're, the game is over, right? You have, to, you have to get Tybalt and not get Romeo, okay? This, we realize, is a very silly game, but we thought it might be fun anyway. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get you guys set up to do remote coding. Um, through Zoom so that you can in real time, we're not gonna download your code onto this sword. We are just going, we're gonna give you control of a computer. And the computer is Matt the Robot's computer because I don't wanna give you control of mine. We're gonna give you control of Matt the Robot's computer back there. So um, what, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go to gallery view real quick. And I wanna know who here is on a computer, not a Chromebook, but a computer, like a Windows or a Mac or a laptop or even a desktop. Okay, so you guys are gonna be able to play. Unfortunately, this part doesn't work with iPads or Chromebooks. So um, who would like to be the first one to try and play our game? Do you wanna try it, Madov? All right, your hands up. You're, you're, our first, you're our first Mercutio, okay? So what Matt the robot is gonna do is he is going to share his screen in just a minute. So you're gonna to get to see the code that um, is running our robot Mercutio's sword, okay? There we go. It's a really simple code, as you can see. There's a right arrow, a left arrow, and an up arrow. And uh, I'm gonna go over to that scene so that you can, you can practice with your sword for a minute once you get control. So Matt, do you wanna talk, Madhav, does he have control now? Absolutely, I just gave Madhav control, so what you're gonna need to do is click your screen, Madhav. And now you have control. So you could, uh, you don't need to do any coding for this, at least not right now. Mm -mm. What you can do is use your left arrow, your right arrow, and your up arrow. And you'll see that that affects yeah. the screen. There you go. Do you see it? And you can unmute yourself so we can hear you too. Can you see that sword moving? Um, yeah, I think it's okay. stuck. It's stuck. Try, to, Try the right uh, arrow. There you go. There you go. Left, right, and then what does up do? Ah, up is straightforward. Okay, so we'll get we'll get Romeo out of there for a minute because he starts out in the background. Yeah. All right. So here's Tybalt, and you got to fight Tybalt. He's gonna come at you. You got to try and get right. him. But before the before the fight starts, we've got a line. Oh, we've got a line. That's right. So to to make the fight start, you have to say this, Madhav. You have to say, come, sir, you're Pasado. That's the start of the fight. Go ahead. Come, sir, you're Pasado. Perfect. The fight's on. <laughs> All right. See if you can get him. Ooh, that was close. That was close. And watch Smack out. Him. Here, it comes, him. here comes Romeo. Romeo no, Mercutio, please come fight. Please okay, come. Yeah. Stay out of this. Stay out of this. Don't be a blue, like, right into the sword. Oh, no, you got him once. <laughs> All right, there was one Romeo hit. Careful, three strikes of Romeo in your house. No! <laughs> there was the second one. <laughs> but go on, Tibble. Have at you. A blast. You're Posado, sir. Oh no! no. You got him again! 
<laughs> that was great. That was wonderful. That was a really good fight, y'all. <laughs> That was wonderful. Let's all give a round of applause for Madhav with his excellent fight. That was great. That was great. <laughs> um, who wants to be the next person to play? Do you want to be next, Adi? Okay, Adi, you're going to be next. And then after that, we'll do Aisha, okay? So, Madhav, do you want to unmute real quick? Do you have any advice for Adi? Don't hit Romeo. <laughs> it's hard. He gets, he gets real in the way. It's, it's a big problem in this scene. <laughs> okay, right. Adi, so you should be able to click your screen. There you go. Now All you've right. got control. And so I'll take off the X's. There we go. All right, try out using your arrow keys, Adi, and see if you can control that sword by hitting, yep, left, right, and then up. See what up does. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so in order to start the fight, you've got to say, come, sir, your pasado. That's your line, Adi. You got to say it out loud. Come, sir, your Posado. Perfect. And the fight is on. Here we go. See if you can get Tybalt, the Prince of Cats. Can you get any good hits in there? He's a very good <laughs> Is your sword stuck? I think so. <laughs> Try clicking your screen again. Try clicking your Zoom screen again. There you go. All right. Tybalt. You did. <laughs> Tybalt. That was a good hit. Nice hit, sir. All right, watch out. Here comes Romeo. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> Don't you walk into it. No, no. <laughs> oh, I think you avoided him. That was, some, that was good. Way to protect your friend. Oh, no, we got one hit. <laughs> Come on, Tibble, you prince of cats with your fancy footwork. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, you got both. <laughs> I got Romeo. <laughs> smash Romeo. All right. No, no, Mercutio. That was a good hit on Tibble. Don't fight, Mercutio. I'm just so worried. Oh, you got him again. <laughs> Which, just again, to be clear, this is really what happens in the play. <laughs> Romeo gets in the way and messes everything up. But that was a really good fight, Adi. All right, should we give Adi a round of applause? Woo, very nice. All right, Aisha, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna set you up. Before we do that though, as we're, uh, right before we get Aisha set up, does anybody have some code that they wanna put on this project here? Raise your hand if you have some code that you want us to download onto this one while we're, while we're getting set for our last, uh, probably we'll do like two more participants. Uh, do you have some you wanna put on here, EJ? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Um, so real quick, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna look at EJ's code. All right, I'm gonna share this code with everybody but me, or everybody, yeah, I'm gonna share this code with only me. Do, 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 do. Me, but not everybody, that's what I meant to say. Okay, <clears throat> and here we go. So what'd you change, EJ, while I'm downloading this on here? What did you do? Uh, I changed the timing a bit in the shake function. I also kinda, if there was um, a higher and lower number, I made the, the number lower and the, I made the lower number lower and the higher number higher, so. Cool. How do you think that that's gonna change how it moves? It's gonna be probably much broader motions. I think so too, that's cool. All right, we're downloading, we're downloading. Here we go. And I'll go to uh, speaker view here so y'all can see it. All right, so I'm gonna press A, so that should be Tybalt. Nice, nice. Here's B for Mercutio. <laughs> and here's Romeo. <laughs> no, 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 no. And did you change the shake as well? Uh, yes. Let's see. There we go. Whoa, whoa. This is quite the fight. And we can press A and B while they're doing this. Oh, what a furious fight this is. <laughs> Holy buckets. <laughs> this is great, EJ. I love that. So just changing the difference between the angles really made a, a difference in how active these characters are. I think this is so much more interesting than what we programmed. This is great, EJ. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. All right, so we're gonna go, uh, so Aisha, we're gonna give you, Matt is gonna give you remote control of his um, thing now, and I'm gonna clear off our, uh, our, our hits, our Romeo hits. Okay, Aisha, so you should be able to click your screen. 
and take control. There you go. All right, so, so the now right if you hit arrow, your left... right arrow and your left arrow and your up arrow, that should control your sword. Is that working? And you might want to unmute yourself so we can hear you too. Uh, no. Does everybody hear them back? And I want you guys to. Oh, wait. Oh, it's oh. And again, Aisha, just, just click your. Uh... Yeah. There you go. You've got it. There you go. So now, are your arrow keys work? There you go. Nice. Okay, so that's right and that's left. Now do up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you've got your, your practice swings down. All right, here comes Tybalt, Prince of Cats. But before the fight can start, you've got to say Mercutio's line. Come to your Posado. All right, go for it. Come to your Posado. Perfect. All right, here comes Tybalt. How to get him. I will see you guys around. And I have some information to your parents. Um, Here comes Romeo, watch out! No, Mercutio, please don't fight! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, send me the email with Ben Ramsey. get him. Whoa, he's a good dancer. Man. Oh, you got him, you got one. Nice. One hit on Tybalt. Uh oh, oh no! <laughs> Dang it. Dang <laughs> it! Come, Mercutio, your finest pasado. Hit me with your fashion dots, but don't hit me! <laughs> Excellent, that was really good timing. Nice work. <laughs> oh man, you got tibbled again. Nice one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please don't fight. Please. I'm back. Oh, nice hit on Tibble. Woo! Excellent. Swords. Aisha. This is great. But don't hit me! Yeah, hit me, hit me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we got a second Romeo hit. <laughs> this isn't the escapades, Romeo. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys on that was some really, really good fighting, Aisha. Nice. Uh, can we all give Aisha a round of applause? Very nice work. Very nice work. Well, do you guys want to know how the fight turns out? Do you guys want to hear what happens? Okay. So I'm going to come back over here, and we're going to kind of uh, uh, use this to help us summarize. So Mercutio uh, is, is fighting. And Tibble is fighting. I'm going to use EJ's code for this. They're fighting, they're fighting, they're going all around, they're going all around. And Romeo keeps trying to get his friend, he's got another friend named Benvolio. He's like, Benvolio, get out your sword. Let's get in between these dudes. We've got to break this up. We've got to break this up. And uh, Tibble and, and Mercutio keep fighting. And Romeo, I'll take him off here for a second. What he does is he does exactly like our game did. He gets in between the two of them and underneath Romeo's arm, Tybalt stabs Mercutio, and it's a mortal wound. Do you guys know what it means for something to be a mortal wound? That means that it is a wound bad enough to kill him. But Romeo and his, uh, uh, Tybalt like notices that there's blood on the end of his sword, and he freaks out, and he runs away. So Tybalt's like, ah, dude, I'm getting out of here. Rah, rah, rah. So he leaves, right? So now Romeo does not realize that Mercutio got stabbed. And Romeo and all his friends are like jumping around and they're like, yay, Mercutio, you did it. You won the fight, you won the fight. You chased Tybalt off. And Mercutio, he's trying to joke, man. He's trying to keep a brave face. He's like, yeah, you know, I, I won. And if you, uh, if you check on me tomorrow, you know, you'll find me a grave man. Cause he knows, he knows it was a bad hit. And then suddenly Mercutio t turns really serious. And he's like, this fight between these two houses, it's so stupid. A plague on both your houses, on the Capulets and the Montagues. You have killed me. You have made worms meat of me. I'm now food for worms. And Mercutio actually dies. He dies. Yeah. And Romeo realizes that his friend has died and that it was kind of his fault for getting in between. And so he runs off. And he runs after Tybalt because now, now it's not joking anymore. Now it's not funny. His best friend was just killed. And so he runs off to go find Tybalt. And you guys are just going to have to read the play or watch one of the very many movies out there to figure out 
what happens after Tybalt kills, kills uh, uh, Romeo's best friend, Mercutio. It's super tense, but really good. Guys, this was a really fun class. I hope that you guys learned a little something about Shakespeare. I hope that you got into it a little bit because you guys did some great programming of Shakespeare. I'm so proud. Um, <clears throat> Uh, do you guys have, uh, what, what I'll do now is I'll, I'll just kind of let people know where they can learn more about um, bird brain and all of our upcoming classes and stuff. But then if anybody wants to stick around after our live stream is done, please feel free if you have any questions for me or for Matt or for each other, et cetera. Um, so uh, a couple things that people can check out from bird brain technologies. If any of you make some robot Shakespeare projects or if you have any questions for us, you can always reach out to us on social media on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at birdbraintech or hashtag hummingbirdkit. Or you can also um, email us info at birdbraintechnologies.com. And if you want to check out all of the amazing resources that we have, things like Robot Shakespeare, more free live upcoming classes, um, <clears throat> building resources, teaching resources, printables, all of this stuff is available on our website for free. So you might start by going to our robotics at home page because it's designed for the situation that we're all in that we're learning and teaching from home right now. Um, so definitely check out that page. And the last thing I wanna let um, especially teachers know about is tomorrow, Friday, we're gonna be doing a teacher talks webinar. So as you saw, there were a lot of students on today and I'm so glad about that. But our Friday webinars are geared towards teachers and we're gonna have a focus tomorrow about teaching ELA through creative robotics. And we're gonna focus on a number of different projects that are on our website. Ones that I've personally taught, including um, robot poetry is a really strong way for students to engage with poetry. Robot Shakespeare, creative writing, things like that. So if you are a librarian, an ELA teacher, um, a STEM teacher who's interested in being a little bit more cross-curricular, or if you work with any teachers like that, please tune into tomorrow's webinar, which is teaching ELA through creative robotics geared towards um, teachers rather than students. So um, I wanna go to gallery view really quick and just say a huge thank you to all of you students for participating today. Uh, everybody stick your hand out in front of you, like so. Reach it back, give yourself a pat on the back because that was really good stuff, you guys. Nice work, good programming. And we will see you guys all next time at our next webinar. So thanks everybody, bye. Thank you so much for joining us today. We can't wait to see what you make on social media. On Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, you can tag at birdbraintech or hashtag hummingbirdkit, or you can even tag me. If you have any questions, be sure to email us, info at birdbraintechnologies.com. We can answer questions about purchasing, about learning, about teaching, and about professional development. If you haven't been there yet, be sure to visit our Robotics at Home page. There, you can purchase a kit for yourself, learn how to use it, and even join one of our upcoming webinars. Until we see you in class, thanks for watching from everyone at BirdBrain Technologies.